Hi, my name's Phil. I like talking about politics and in this video I'd like to discuss how the Tory government is going to court in an attempt to stop the public finding out just how much of our money was used to keep Boris Johnson and his staff as drunk as skunks during the height of the Covid pandemic. Are the Tories risking turning a drama into a crisis? But first, if you'd like to be notified of daily news and politics, please subscribe to the channel and click the bell notification icon. So we're going to have a bit of a Tory government waste today today, starting off with, uh, well, we know that Downey Street staff did a lot of boozing during both lockdowns and non-lockdown periods of 2020 and 2021. It's like there was no difference between the two. We've heard about the suitcases full of alcohol and food that was smuggled into Downey Street every Friday. But just how much boozing went on during this period and how much of it used public money when Boris Johnson, remember, was assuring us that the staff were working terribly hard in our interests. Surely one way of investigating would be to find out how much taxpayer money was spent on all this food and drink during that period and compare it to a similar period of time before Boris Johnson became Prime Minister. And as we're talking about public money being spent here, we should be able to find out quite easily. All public expenditure is available to any interested member of the public, as long as, of course, there's no national security issues. So a lovely freedom of information request ought to be interesting. And the government is now run by Rishi Sunak. This is the man who said he's a strong advocate of transparency. Oh, we're all about transparency. We're not hiding anything from the public. Good man, good man. So there should be no problems getting this information, should there? Oh, look, what do we have here? An article in the mirror describing how people have tried to find out how many bottles of wine were brought out for functions at number 10 Downey Street during these two years of, of you know, on and off COVID pandemic measures. Not quite the full details of hospitality expenses I might be interested in, but it's a start, it's a start. But apparently the government say they'd rather not divulge this information after all. Oh, why is that then? Oh, because um, because it could cause international embarrassment, could it? How would that be? Well, you know, people would see that we might have spent more money hosting one world leader compared to another. Oh, OK, OK. So this particular exception in the transparency stakes must be a long-standing convention then, mustn't it? Oh, this must be something we've been doing for decades. Uh no, no. Oh, have we been doing it for a few years? Have the, con have the Conservatives been doing it ever since they came to power then? No, this started quite recently. OK, how recently? Uh, about two weeks ago. <laughs> now, according to the article, the government have been more than happy to provide the details of hospitality laid on for visits from world leaders. This is a brand new policy of opacity on booze-related matters. But although the government have come up with what they think is an excuse to hide their expenditure on booze during those main COVID years, which of course are still going on, but you know, the ones where there were public restrictions. So although they have their excuse, it's not as simply as suddenly deciding that they have a loophole in order to avoid explaining to the public how they spent our taxes. I mean, there's a law here, the Freedom of Information Act, so we want our information, please. So it's going to court now. Being honest, I really don't know why the government are fighting this. Their stated reasons for opacity were never considered important before someone asked about Partygate boozing. <laughs> you know, going back years, generations, really. And certainly back to the previous two decades since the Freedom of Information Act became law under the last Labour government. In fact, I wonder if the Tories are demonstrating the Streisand effect here. I mean, isn't there a risk here that the government attempting to hide how they're spending our money becomes a story in itself. If you want to hide how you're spending public money and there isn't a national security issue, then the implication is that a significant proportion of that money is not being spent as the public would like it to be spent. In other words, being wasted. If the government fails to win their case and the information comes out anyway, or if the case goes on for so long that Labour former government drop the case and the information comes out that way. In either case, we may discover that any waste isn't actually all that bad, all things considered. It could be a classic case of the attempt to conceal wrongdoing is more damaging than the wrongdoing itself. And if the government wins its case, well, then people will just have to assume the waste must have been fairly egregious. I mean, you would, wouldn't you? I mean, 
they're hiding it. Why would they go to all this trouble to hide it? And because there's now going to be a legal process, that means multiple opportunities to explain the issue to the public. Right, right now, people are on Easter holidays. Those who aren't are focusing on the scraps between political parties as we gear up for the local elections. You know, maybe people are less interested in, in fringe party gate boozing issues right now. But once the local elections are out of the way and we look towards the Privileges Committee verdicts on Johnson's Partygate lies, that might be another opportunity to tell the public that the Tories are currently trying to cover up how much of our taxes were spent on his wine. When the case itself is being heard, you've got another opportunity. When the decision is announced, another opportunity. Even at the next general election, campaigners could point out just how much money the Tories, including Rishi Sunak personally, we're going to talk more about that in the second video today, have wasted. And then ask why we think they might be trying to hide as much of their budgets as they can. How much more waste is there? Whereas the government could have just released the figures, which I bet aren't even all that bad, and during a time when the public won't be paying attention and it would be done and dusted. You know, there was a, there was something, I think it was in The Independent yesterday, talking about the five stories that had all broken during the, the weekend melee, which won't have been widely reported because there were other things to report on. They could have sneaked it out there as well. But no, no, why not try and hide the figures so that we could all speculate about how the Tories are wasting our taxes on keeping Johnson drunk while people are, ev are struggling to even eat every day? Why not drag the process out so there's loads of opportunities to make it a newsworthy issue? Because that makes sense. But there we are. Those are my thoughts. Let me know yours in the comments below. I hope you found the video interesting. If you did, please click the like button if you'd like to support the channel further. The join button for memberships. And until next time, I'll see you later.